Hi guys, this is Lucy on Memory Keeper Journals. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I have uh, a project that I am going to start doing. I already created one and it's some of these little handmade beads. I don't know what the heck is this. This is like part of the, <laughs> the other fabric, but yeah, this is what I made for the first time ever. I've never made these kind of beads before, but it worked out. So I wrestled with it for a little while and I figured, well, maybe I should create a video out of it and show you guys how I'm doing it because I don't have all the actual um, materials that you're supposed to have for this. I actually took some wire apart, this wire right here that I found with my little jar that I had away, but these are, that goes with these things to hang up pictures on the wall. So it came with that. But these, this wire comes with like four or five, six of them to all together. You can see they come apart and they're very flimsy. So I figure why not I could use a piece. So I cut a piece of it, I'm not sure what size, let me see, um, we cut uh, like 9 centimeters almost, so basically 3 inches and a little bit, So, and I figure I will use that, and I watched um, Amity Bloom's video, Creating Beads. And it seems to be pretty easy, but I'm going to tell you right now, guys, I was having, I was struggling. Struggling, struggling. I used my PVA glue first with the um, fabric, but I think it's because it's sorry silk. It's not like regular cotton fabric or something else. I don't know. It's just because I guess the material is very um, soft and it kind of slips. So that's probably the reason why it was giving me a hard time. And then I was using PVA. PVA did not work. So I then took the tacky glue and I didn't know. I, I have so many glues, but they're all for different things. And I didn't know if this one would be good, but it is. So it, it, it actually worked. So that's the one I'm going to be using. I should put it right here. And put this away. And then I'm going to show you guys my first attempt on how I did that. I did already the little circle on this side. That's hard too. I have never learned that, but I watched her do the little loop. And mine is kind of double because it's so thin. And I learned by watching her, really. So, okay, so I'm going to make... A little roll with this because I don't have that specific roll that she was talking about it's like a it looked like a little foam or something it's already set for that to do those beads but I don't have that so I figure why not paper and paper and fabric kind of you know you can attach together really well and she said you could use a straw but I don't think a straw would work because straw is plastic. Can you imagine? I will be struggling with the straw that's plastic with this soft material that will never glue. Forget it. I'll probably be there forever trying to put it together. That's not going to work. So where my little scissors? Here we go. So if you hear, okay, um, hopefully I'm in the middle of the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So I'm using strips of scrap. This is uh, coffee dye paper. And so when I cut my pages to size for the journal, I save the strips. I'm still trying to debate on what I am going to do with these strips. I have somewhat of an idea, but I don't know what to do with it yet. So for now, I think it's working for what I'm gonna be doing right now so I think this would work so I'm gonna go ahead and use the PVA and smoosh it around and twist it like I did the other one
Okay. And I don't want it so big, so that's why I have a tiny little piece right here because I cut it. So I'm thinking, yep, yeah, see, I cut it. So I'm going to cut this one to here. There's my little circle. All right. So now we start putting some of these strips. I have yellow because you know me, I'm into my yellow right now. And maybe we should add this one's got green. I want, let's see. I want some red. Oh, maybe we can use some piece of gold. Have some gold here. be really shiny. I'm gonna use this side like that. So the base I will do this time this one looks pinky and orange. I don't have any yellow on top. So I will use the orange first and we'll do that okay. So I'm going to use a tacky glue. How about I do it on this first? Trying it in every different way you can just so I can see what works for me, you know? Because the other one was pretty difficult. And again, the sorry silk comes apart because that's what sorry silk does. It comes apart. So it doesn't matter. That's just the way the material is. Um, but we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put some kind of a cord around it so that it holds it down. You know like this one so I was using the brown one this one so that's the one I'm gonna use next I'm gonna use um, some of the red so that it can come out from the and I'm gonna put some more glue right here so 
see if it stays on. Probably go the opposite way. No, no, go the same way I was going. That way stays that way. bit further down so we don't see the paper mm, my hands are sticky 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 mm -hmm. let's put it right in there cut this off excess and then put some more glue because I don't trust it Every time I try to put it on there, it comes off. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. What? Okay. Let's take this off. So it's cleaner. I already like that color. Like I don't even want to add any other color. <laughs> Maybe we could do another one with the yellow and gold. Let's do that because I like yellow, orange, and red. Gold. It's just beautiful. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And there it is, guys. There's my cute little baby bead. Oh, a boho. Boho bead. How cute is this? I, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I think that should be the bottom. Yep. I am hooked. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. Now I need to make more. I need to make more. Yep. I do. Look at guys. My first beads. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? I mean, I love it. This is cute. I love the red. Came out really nice. Not bad at all. I need to make a yellow one because I really want something yellow. So I might start with some orange and then put the yellow on top. But that's cute. It's got some pink that would match perfect with the book. Let's see. Let's put it to, right next to it. Look at how cute that is. So that's gonna be hanging from here, and that's what I'm gonna do when I sew it together. That's what I'm gonna do. See the yellow on top. I told you guys I'm into yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put. Um, let's see, I'm going to do a different one. Let's, let's take out some beads. That's what I want to do. Let's take out some beads of what I want to use and have them in this little, little cover.
This is the first time I'm doing this. It's not a good one, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to make a few before I can say, okay, I feel comfortable enough to put this in one of my journals where the person is gonna be satisfied and happy that they actually uh, purchased it and, and it lasts them for a long time. I think I need to buy the tool. That way it comes out right. Now I'm trying to close it correctly, but I didn't do it right because I squished it in too much. So it's probably already. Well, I think it works. It has a little key, a dangly key. That's cute. I have another one with a different color, but we can use something else. Like... Oops, I left this one out. Okay, well, I'll just stick it in here for now. I have some like these in here. So, those are bigger. I would use them, but they're way bigger, I see. So, definitely will use this, but I think the blue one for that one the camera for the outside of the leather and this for the outside of the leather for one of them so I only have one I think left over and we can use one of these and one of the leaves for this one here because that's really cool look at that elephant and elephant on the top and on the beads that would be great great match okay that's what I'm gonna do and I gotta do a couple more of the blue ones and I'll probably redo that one because this one looks good look how cute with the little key I should have put the heart in there too huh well, maybe I can add another one on top of that one with the heart let's try that and this time I think I want to I hold it with this one Maybe, because I don't remember how she did it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hold it with this one here. Oh goodness, look at the glue. And then, I gotta hold it hard, but this hand is not very strong either, so. All right, let's try it. Let's try it, guys. 
am going to try it. And then close it, right? This is what she said. Close it. You don't put it any other way. So when you open it, you close it. And now it has a heart and a key. Perfect. And now this one can have, yeah, let's do this one. Well, I might need another jump ring because I know I used two on here. Oh no, but I don't need it because I'm only going to use one leaf. So I'm okay. All right. Now I'm going to hold it really strong with this one. Twist it open. Stick the charm in. And the beads. And then close it back together. No, what the heck is going on here? Okay, there it is. Oof. All right. So what do you guys think? I think that's the closest <laughs> and the cutest thing I've ever made. I've never made these before. Isn't that cute? With a key and a heart and a leaf. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, I think this is it for now. I'm gonna have to finish it off tomorrow because it's already night time and I'm tired. It's been a long day. And here's the other jump ring. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm glad that you were here and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you. Good night. Bye.